Hey guys, welcome back to another gaming video. Uh, thank you for still sticking with <laughs> us. Um, we're still new at this. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, I'm Michaela. I'm Ashley. And we are playing Bucket of Doom today, which is Ashley's suggestion. It's a game by Big Potato. Um, it is parental advisory explicit content, so um, not a game for the little kiddos. <laughs> Just a warning, so there could be some a little bit of a lewd moments in this. Just a warning. Um, you want to explain how to play? So, it's another kind of like category game, so you have these pink Doom cards. See them? <laughs> so, um, these are situation cards, so it has you in a particular situation. Let's give an example, shall we? Uh, you're sailing solo around the world, Somali pirates approaching. So it puts you in a situation. And then you have these little, I guess, like noun cards. So you get like seven of these and you pick which one for your pile you would use. And using one of them, you have to make your case why it would get you out of that situation. The other person does the same. Whoever has the better answer wins this card. Whoever gets the most of these at the end wins. All right, so let's get going. Let's First situation is the burner is stuck on your hot air balloon and you're heading for outer space. go with that one. <laughs> Alright, I'll go with this one. Alright. And then uh, replace right. your card. It's it's kind of similar to uh, Cards Against Humanity. Yeah. Alright, why don't you case state your case first? Alright, so my card is Harry Potter's Owl Hedgewig. Hedgewig? Hed Hedwig? Hedgewig? Whatever, whatever <laughs> it is. I can't help you. Hedwig. Uh, so, our good pal Hedwig She's just chilling with us, just hanging out, and oh no, we see we're running into some issues. But she's a magical owl, so she can go send off a message <laughs> to the other wizards, to Harry and whoever. So okay, so wizards let, exist. <laughs> let them know that we are in peril, and they will come and help us get us into our own atmosphere. So we're not magical. I mean, we're going as we are. I didn't say we were. So you're saying Harry Potter exists in this world? If Hedwig is, then Harry Potter's gotta be. Well, Hedwig exists because owls exist. You only exist because the people exist, yes. so. <laughs> what is uh, yours? Okay. Um, so mine is for a trained pet mouse called Peter. Mm-hmm. So what Peter can do is, right, because the burner is stuck and he's trained, so you just send Peter right up to where the burner is stuck and you can just you know, gnaw a little bit, loosen it. I don't know how hot air balloons work, but I'm going to assume <laughs> that's what that works. And then he can go ahead and he can just loosen a little bit and bam, we're fixed. I think the one caveat to that is it doesn't specify how it's trained. Right, so <laughs> he's trained specifically in hot air balloon related hey, I'm incidents. trying to help you make your case. <laughs> All right, in the comments below, cho choose who wins. <laughs> who do we think wins? Who do we think wins? I mean... Which is more realistic? Mine? <laughs> no, I, I don't think that's so. Mine. I think mine is way more realistic. Who names a mouse Peter? That's so unrealistic. Wow. Peter can just <laughs> sit in your pocket like from Kim Possible. Uh, any artist out there, draw this. <laughs> Kayla with a little mouse. No, Alright, you can have it. Yes. You can have it. Alright, let's do our discard piles up here. You ready? Next card. Count on that. Yeah, there's, it's empty, so I don't... Hey, as long as he's enjoying it. Now it's going to be a nice little you know, some more for some people. Alright. <laughs> You're exploring a deep ocean trench in a submarine you built in your garage when it starts filling up with water. I already know. Bam. That will solve all of your problems. I like how it's like specifically says you built in your garage so i mean it's already telling you that it's gonna fail it must be a um, really big garage to build a submarine not confident in my answer all right it's my turn to go first or your turn i think it's mine all right go for it are you okay all right 
minutes. So clearly, if it's starting to fill up, to fill up with water, mm -hmm. you're running out of time. You gotta get out of there fast. Yeah. So if your submarine is filling mm -hmm. up with water, you gotta get out of there fast. Yep. So what do you do? You break out your nipple tassels. Yeah. Which just happen to be so long, mm -hmm. you can attach them to pro the, pro the propellers. Yeah. And it'll add some extra length, which may help with the aerodynamics, and it'll help you get out of there even faster. Because these are supersonic nipple tassels. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ultrasonic speeds. My solution is a pack of hubba bubba. You mm -hmm. chew that baby, spit it out, put it on the wall. Prob. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Bam! Problem solved. Problem solved. Problem and Hubba Bubba is thick chewing gum. <laughs> so, double you, cheese. so you chew that up real fast, put it on, and you have a pack. So as soon as it starts coming off, you can go ahead and replace it. Yeah, but what about when you get to the end of the pack? Well, by then, you should already be out. I don't know how much Ooh, is that Hubba Bubba going to hold up. Pretty better than your nipple tassels <laughs> because you're saying they're gonna have to go out into the ocean, so they're gonna have to go diving to add it to the propellers. They're prepared to do that. They're underwater. Obviously, they got they're their underwater not astronaut suits. suits. <laughs> so if it's wait, if an astronaut is for space, what is it for underwater? Scuba diving. What do you mean, maybe? <laughs> They're called scuba divers. I don't know, the people that, well, if you're controlling a full-on submarine, I don't know if you're classified as, like, it's just scuba. I don't know. This is a question for Google. Anyways, I'm pretty sure my solution is the best solution in <laughs> nipple tassels. I don't know, do we want to go logic, though, or oh, innovative? Come on, a, a pack of hubba bubba. Comment below which one you would use. A pack of Hubba Bubba, come on. Or your extra long nipple tassels. A pack of Hubba Bubba. Oh, fine. Yes. So we just wear you down. Only just because that thing has just so much sugar. It's not like... Yeah, but that thing is that thick. Thing. That will fill the hole. Oh, interesting. All right. You're a zombie. A biohazard team with flamethrowers have got you cornered. All right, your solution is a cloud. Cloud. Okay, so you're cornered. A cloud comes overhead. Everything gets dark. Use that to your. Use that to escape. It's like a cover. But you're surrounded. They're already right in front of you. Oh please! They got a flamethrower. They're gonna be easy to scare. They light me on fire. I'm just gonna run at them and light them on fire because I'm on fire. But you're a zombie. Yeah. A cloud is gonna come over, and it's gonna get dark. It's flaming zombie. You're only gonna be flaming so long until your body just <laughs> crumbles. So I don't Doesn't recommend that. being lit on fire. Anyways, a cloud is the solution because a cloud, guess what? It can also rain. It rains. <laughs> Douses up the fly, the fire. How are you controlling this cloud? Just good timing. Mm -hmm. Yep. And how long is that timing gonna last? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm taking up. I'm taking that little window, and I'm going. <laughs> and I'm going. Well, you know what I have to, for my advantage? An angry beaver. Uh huh. Because they might be a biohazard team, but in the end, they're still humans. Mm -hmm. And you know what humans love? Animals. And we have animal cruelty laws. They would never and could never harm a beaver. So we just hang out with that beaver, we got him right in front of us, just kind of scoot around. <laughs> and as long as that's in between us, they're not throwing any flames. Mm -hmm. I think none of these are strong arguments. I think we're dead. I think my argument's oh, pretty good. Oh, please, you see an angry beaver that's going to go, that thing's dead. No, because they have ethics. They have their biohazard Scientists ethics. Scientists don't have ethics. Some do. Not ones with flamethrowers. But you're a zombie, so you're technically the bad guy in this situation. They're just trying to protect you didn't have themselves. To be yeah, and this beaver didn't ask to get lit on fire. <laughs> Therefore, it won't. I don't know. I don't know who wins this one. You guys can let us know. I think, but yours, you said it's just based on timing, so you yes. can't even guarantee that that's going to happen. No, I can guarantee that's going to happen. I saw it. You can see it overhead, you can see it moving in. But flamethrower. I checked the weather. Hold on, hold on. I checked the weather. And it said rain. K. 
Can flamethrowers be used in the rain? It doesn't give me any immediate. Exactly. It's, I don't want to read. You and can... where were you holding this angry beaver in your back pocket? I'm outside. Okay, if you're by chance <laughs> waiting on a cloud, then that chance is equal for a beaver. I'm in nature. You know what? We're just going to put this up here because I don't think anyone wants that one. Alright, this one is going to be up to you guys. Yeah, because I don't think... I think my cloud's perfect though. If you, if you were a zombie in a biohazard team with flamethrowers had you cornered, would you use a cloud or an angry beaver to get out of that? Which one would you use and how? That is your beaver's no. going up in flames. No, because animal abuse rights and it could be protected. Mm. So. Alright, next card. Walking home after a night out wearing Lady Gaga's meat dress, you are attacked by a gang of militant vegans. Mm -hmm. Alright, my solution, tamp, 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 Are you okay? Tap, tap dancing shoes. Okay. And, listen, she she's a good performer, right, Lady Gaga? I mean, she puts these on, she can just dazzle her way out. Yeah, but you're not Lady Gaga. Listen, if I'm wearing her <laughs> meat dress, you best be know that I know her, her choreography, right? Out of there, and they're gonna be so confused. They're gonna let me go, and I'm gonna shed the dress and run for my life. I don't know. It's a good distraction. You know, it also is a and good that's distraction. Gonna, that's gonna raise a lot of noise. So I'm sure someone's gonna come with the phone, and you know, we'll be all okay. They're gonna be like, "It's a talk of the vegans," and then that's how the first, <laughs> the next civil war gets started. All right, but you know what? Also, is a good distraction. A hundred pounds of horse shit. Because you can be like, oh. This, this is because this pig died of natural causes. I am just trying to benefit him, and I am coming from my work at the farm, which is where you pull this out. And you're like, see, I'm bringing this. You just carry a hundred pounds in your back pocket. Yeah, I just pull it off to the side. A hundred pounds of it. <laughs> I'm like, see, I am coming home from the farm. Which, I mean, you could have just swiped from a farm you're passing by. Because you're like, I bet these vegans are out tonight. And what do you, lo and behold, they were. And you're just like, see, I am coming from my work at the farm to turn this into fertilizer to a free range. I'm not mine. Well, are you vegan? You need that some real vegan. I mean, I might as well be. Um. I think. I'm not convinced if you're half 100 pounds. I'm not convinced. At least I'm already wearing these. Well, I already had this with me. Yeah, just pulling it along. Yeah, for just the occasion. Look, I'm a cautious person. Gotta think everything. I'm putting this in you guys' side because I have no idea. Or just pull it out and they're like, you're wearing something, you're hurting animals. And I'll be like, you're a hundred pounds full of horse shit. And I'll be like, whoa, you right. You got us, we'll back off. Uh, I'm not convinced. You're never convinced. Nope. <laughs> Besides, it doesn't matter who we think once. It matters what you guys, who you got. I can't English, I don't give up. Yes, yeah, so it's like, what, was it tamp dancing <laughs> shoes? <laughs> You never just know when you're tamp dancing <laughs> shoes. You're tearing down the highway at 100 miles per hour when the steering wheel breaks off in your hands. First of all, do not go down the highway at 100 miles per hour unless you're on the Autobahn. Even then, don't. Well, no, you're allowed to. You can pick your own speed on there. Yeah, but that's still death waiting. If you don't do 100, then people are going to run you over, man. Don't know how this is gonna help, but I'm gonna have to figure it out. Okay, you have a bag of hospital and biomedical waste. That stuff can probably eat through anything, right? Right. 
Wouldn't right? that just be like human waste? Isn't that like shots and stuff too? Could Anything be. hazardous? It doesn't say hazardous, it just says biomedical. Yeah, but so anything... does that mean like human waste or like the needles and stuff? I'm gonna say needles, right? Because that's what you see the little bins in the hospitals for, and it's all red and stuff. They have them in some bathrooms too, in like yeah. public places. Anyway, you got this, right? So that's probably got some nasty stuff in it. You throw it out the window, pop your tires. You're, <laughs> You're gonna flip your car. <laughs> Better than crashing into somebody else. If you just stop your car on the highway, you're definitely going to go. Um, I haven't actually thought about how I'm going to use mine yet. But if I pop my tires, I'm popping everyone's tires behind me, so it's just going to slow everybody down. I don't think a little syringe is going to... Um, okay, you think there's one syringe in there? No. Even like a more. bunch, they're not going to like... That's probably on the way to throw it out. With the, with the size of the holes that they would make, it would just it would be, be a like very things. slow stop, and that's what you need. It starts getting all wobbly. Okay, I have a can of Barbasol. What is that? Um, I think it's shaving cream. Either that or it's um. Oh no, I'm thinking of Barbicide. Um, Barbasol is shaving cream. I would um use it to hammer the steering wheel back on. But does that mean it's just gonna? Because if it pops off, it's probably not connected to anything. Or I don't know. I, I don't know how steering wheels work really, but I feel like I if use, it pops off, it's done. So either I can use the can to um, smack it back on and get it in place, or I can use the cream to like make it slip in. I don't know how. It I don't know off. if it comes in. What is it? Just like a little knobby thingy in there? The steering wheel. Yeah. Or is it connected to wires? Be... Or is it depending on the car? Well, obviously it's some wires because it's all easily connected to like the drivetrain of the car. It turns the wheels. <laughs> Educate us, guys. Tell us I don't think either of us are winning this one. Nope, which means you guys decide who won. Who won? Me or Ashley? I feel like it was me. Okay, I guess we Alright, uh, if you want us to try this again or try something similar, mm -hmm. leave some suggestions in the comments below of uh, different either cards or scenarios. Or, um, yeah, write some scenarios and either we'll talk about how we would get out of them in yeah. person or we'll do it with the cards. Yes. And please like, subscribe, share, everything. Comment below. <laughs> um, follow the bell if you want to be notified of when we upload. Yes. Well, we'll have a bunch of things, games, vlogs, mm -hmm. shorts, uh, follow, podcasts, but soon. If you want to follow our social media, uh, it's, the links are in the description. Yes. And, and as always, just kidding, that's not mine. <laughs> I was like, where are you going? As always, we don't have an always yet. No, we. if you have a suggestion for an intro and outro, let us know. All right, that's know. it for this one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>